Interestingly enough, Imran Khan hasn't held public office so far, so it's difficult to assess how much he can deliver. We decided to speak with someone who has known him closely, the journalist Reham Khan, his former wife and also a special guest on our coverage of the Pakistan elections. She decoded Khan's speech saying that they should be, uh, or his promises rather, should be taken with a pinch of salt. It is charming to hear that. Um, the proof is in the pudding, as they say. So I, I think that if he means it, then uh, I think all Pakistan and all India would support that. We want uh, peace in the region and we want a conciliatory uh, tone, obviously. So certainly this is a, this is a good first step. I, I would say that you know, this is not a, not a bad start and it is certainly something that should be appreciated, but uh, I hope that he means it because we've heard so many good things coming from Imran and we heard these at the beginning of his. In fact, I mean, if you listen to the, the whole bit, actually the, the talk about not using the prime minister house and we'll, uh, we don't want to live in, in, in these uh, palatial uh, apartments and we want to be, we've heard them all before uh, when he was given the government in Khyber Pukhtunkhwa. But those promises, um, I'm sorry to report, uh, he failed us on those promises. So if he means uh, that he wants peace in the region, then I think he needs to put uh, put his words uh, into practice very, very soon. And certainly some of the extremist elements that he has been seen supporting recently, uh, he needs to detach them himself and the party very quickly from them. He needs to show us in Parliament that A, that he will be uh, making himself uh, available for, for Parliament since in the last uh, tenure he has only appeared in Parliament 5%, less than 5% of the times. And every single time it's been actually been on foreign issues, uh, particularly when it has been a Saudi related issue. He's made his presence in the Parliament. So I think that uh, we need to have, of course, he needs to talk to people. If you look at his past record, I mean, it's it's been it's been confusing and that's how I've always described him certainly in the recent past that it's confusing he says one thing and then he does another so if you look at the pictures for example one of the the main complaints that the Pakistan Thiri Kinsaf uh, had um, and made and were very vocal about were the Nawaz Sharif Modi relationship and the friendliness in this relationship then when we saw back in 2016 when Imran requested uh, for a meeting with uh, uh, Prime Minister Modi at the time and he looked very very friendly in in that image um, but he wasn't of course um, criticized for that friendliness uh, so I as I said I think that if he if he does what Pakistan wants him to do and what Pakistanis and moderate uh, Pakistanis uh, the vast majority of us are moderate uh, what we want uh, from our leadership uh, then that is peace but if he is still listening to scripts handed down to him which has been uh, really been uh, a huge problem in his political career, then that would be very disappointing for the electorate.